Welcome to a new learning session. Knowledge is money. Fundamentals of Hotel Front Office Accounting Imagine a world without order, where everything was a mess and no one knew where anything was. Where money and resources were being thrown about, in all directions, without knowing or caring. How much was spent, how much was left, or even where it went to. This wouldn't be very sustainable, not to mention, comfortable. Now imagine if this was in a hotel environment, how could you even accommodate guests? Hotel staff wouldn't get their salaries, guests wouldn't get what they paid for, no improvements would take place, and money would just disappear. That doesn't sound too good, does it? Organized things look good. Definition, Accounting It is a systematic process of identifying, recording, measuring, classifying, verifying, summarizing, interpreting and communicating, financial information. It reveals profit or loss for a given period, and the value and nature of a firm's assets, liabilities and owner's equity. Read more, at www.businessdictionary.com Accounting is the language of business. Accounting purpose. Accounting provides information to the company on following resources, money, capital, manpower, etc., available to a firm. The means employed to finance those resources. The results achieved through their use. Accounting, practice, and body of knowledge. What hotel accountants do? Producing an accurate set of month-end accounts. Comparing profit to previous periods, and forecasts, estimates. Preparing budgets, and business plan. Financial statement and balance sheet production. Cash flow statements. Payroll control. Sounds complicated? It is not. Unique things about hotel guest. Charge privilege, for convenience of guests and hotel as well, hotels provide a facility of buy now, pay later. Unexpected checkouts, guests can decide to leave any day, any time they wish. Hotels do not force them to honor the agreement in reservation contract, because they want guests to keep coming back. Hence. Hotels have to keep their guest accounts accurate, and up to date, to handle sudden departures. Charge privilege and, house limit. Hotels cannot afford, 
to give unlimited credit to any guest, because it will be too risky. Every guest is permitted a maximum credit purchase limit, known as house limit. Every account is checked and totaled, every day, to find out if an account has crossed that limit. Accounts near their house limit, are called high balance account. Charge privilege is not allowed, to scanty baggage and walk-in guest. They are on APC, all payments in cash, basis. The major functions of front office accounting. Creation and maintenance of guest, and non-guest accounts, timely, and accurately. Tracking financial transactions, buy and pay, of customers. Monitoring the credit limit of guest. Preparing a high balance account report. Providing an efficient management information system, MIS. Maintaining effective control over cash and credit transactions. Types of accounts. Guest accounts. Non-guest accounts. Guest account. A guest account is the record of financial transactions between a resident guest and hotel. The front office creates an individual folio account for each guest. On the basis of guest folio, the final bill is prepared and presented to the guest for payment. Resident guest lives in hotel. Non-guest accounts A non-guest account is the record of the financial transactions that take place between a non-resident guest and the hotel. This is also known as city account. Non-resident guests use services like restaurant, bar, salon, spa, swimming pool, club etc. City guests only use services. Transactions, equals, guest charges. Guest charges, credit purchase, can include, guest room charges, taxes, telephone charges, food and beverage, charges for other products and services. Generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP. Standards and procedures, that have been adopted, by those responsible for preparing business financial statements, for the purpose of ensuring standard and uniformity. Accounting terms, basic. Assets, items owned by a business including cash on hand, money in checking or other accounts, money owed to the business, inventories, property, equipment and furnishings. Liabilities, debts owed by a business. Owner's equity, equals assets minus liabilities. Uniform System of Accounts, for the Lodging Industry, USALI A standard set of accounting procedures, used to record a hotel's financial transactions, and condition. Account and Folio A document, used to show increases or decreases, in the asset, liability, or owner's equity. Because of their shape, accountants refer to these as T-accounts. Debits and credits, are like two sides of a balance. Accounting terms Accounts receivable, AR, money owed to a hotel. For example, from guests. Accounts payable, AP, money owed by a hotel. For example, to suppliers, vendors, and loan account. Retained earnings. Profits earned, but not paid, disbursed, to the business owners. Double entry accounting. A system of recording financial transactions, in a way, that maintains entry of one transaction in two books, once, 
on credit side and second, on debit. Helps in trial balance. Accounting, for guest charges. Debit, an accounting transaction, that records a change on the left side of AT account. Credit, an accounting transaction that records a change, on the right side of AT account. Vouchers. The front desk cashier is required, to present supporting documents as a proof, for all the financial transactions, buy or pay, recorded in the guest folio. Voucher is a written instrument, that serves to confirm, or witness, vouch, for a transaction. Commonly, a voucher is a document, that shows goods have been bought, or services have been given, authorizes payment, and indicates the ledger account, in which these transactions will be recorded. A voucher sample. Types of vouchers Vouchers Visitors paid out voucher It is cash paid out by the hotel, on behalf of a guest. If petty payments like taxi fare, cinema tickets, medicine, postage etc. are made by the front desk, a visitor's paid out voucher is issued on guest's name, and his signature is collected, and the amount is debited in guest's folio. VPO is paid from impressed or cash bank. Miscellaneous charge voucher Guest's miscellaneous charges may include the following. Shoe shine, health club, Barber shop, beauty parlor, pastry shop, postal charges, antique shop etc. Cash banks A cash bank is an amount of cash given to a cashier, before the shift begins, in order to tender exact change, in every transaction. Only one person, who signs for it, has access to the cash bank, and is solely responsible for it. At the end of the shift the cash bank amount is separated, and the remaining cash is put in an envelope, and deposited with chief cashier. Cash bank, shortage and overage. Monetary differences, between the money placed in front office cash envelope, and cashier's net cash receipt, is noted on the envelope as overages, more, shortages or dewbacks. Net cash receipt is the amount of cash, checks, and other negotiable instruments, in the cashier's drawer, minus, the initial cash bank, plus, the paid outs. Cash bank, due back. Due back occurs, when a cashier pays out, more than the amount received as cash bank, and there is not enough cash in the drawer, to restore the initial cash bank. Due backs are also known as due bank. When VPO is settled later, due back money is recovered, and returned. Vouchers Cash receipt voucher A written document, that is produced by a company, each time it receives money for goods, or services. Telephone call voucher In automated hotels, call from rooms are directly built into account. If a call is made through operator, then a bill is raised on telephone voucher. Vouchers Travel agent voucher Voucher detailing the accommodation, transport, food and entertainment, to be provided, to the bearer, guest. The payment may be direct by guest, or sent to the agent. Commission voucher Travel agents, tour operators, Taxi drivers etc., who provide business to the hotel, are paid a commission, 10% of room rate, through this voucher. Vouchers Guest allowances A rebate or deduction, 
from an invoice, bill, to give a compensation to the guest, for poor service or mistake. Excess advance deposit refund, at checkout, is also an allowance. Restaurant or bar check Restaurant and bar check will have, the details of charges of food, or drinks, ordered by the guest. When the check is presented, the guest signs it, for confirmation, that he had agreed to pay. Overwriting is not allowed in accounts. Folios The front desk cashier transfers, writes, the financial transactions, that are recorded in the vouchers, to individual or the group accounts folio. A folio is a written record of a guest's accounts, and is created at the time of reservation, or registration. Types of folios Guest folio Master folio Non-guest, or, city folio Employee folio Guest folio these are accounts of individual person, of guest rooms, and are also called, bill folio. Non-guest, or city folio. They are also called semi-permanent folio, and are the account of non-guest business, or agencies, with hotel charge purchase privileges, buy now, pay later. Master folio. These are accounts of more than one person or guest rooms and are usually maintained for groups. Employee folio They are the accounts of various employees, with charge purchase privilege, and not always handled by front office. Some accounts are directly handled by accounts department. For example, city folio, credit card payment etc. Split folio and, incidental folio. Company-sponsored guests, at times, request for a split folio, 1, to record expenses, to be paid by the company, and the other, to be paid by the guest personally, and directly. The personal expenses, like cigarette, or drinks, are recorded in incidental folio. Example of debit and credit entries. Debit. Room rate, tax food and beverage, laundry, telephone, VPO, health club and spa, business center, etc. Credit Prepayment, part payment, allowance, adjustment, transfer, final settlement. Ledger A ledger is a collection, of the same type of accounts. The front office ledger has a collection of folios. There are normally two ledgers. Guest ledger, city ledger. Guest ledger. A guest ledger contains the details of all the financial transactions between all resident guests and a hotel, including charge purchases and the payment received from the guest. In a manual system, the financial transactions are recorded in a tabular ledger, or tab ledger, which is of two types, horizontal tabular ledger, vertical tabular ledger. Visitors tabular ledger Visitors tabular ledger is a ledger, meant for keeping the records, of all registered guests, in a loose leaf form. One leaf or sheet, per day. It serves the purpose of a day book, sales book, on one hand, and registered guests' personal account, on the other. It is maintained for keeping the record of all the transactions, relating to the sale of goods and services, to registered guests, in a systematically analyzed form. Vertical Tabular Ledger
Horizontal tabular ledger. City ledger. A city ledger contains the collective accounts of all non resident individuals and agencies to whom hotel extends charge privilege, credit purchase facility. It is also known as non guest ledger. List of city ledger accounts City folio, built to company, disputed, late charges, guaranteed reservation retention charge, travel agent voucher. Airlines meals and accommodation order, and passenger service order, credit card, skipper, walkout, left unintentionally, bad or bounced check. Accounting cycle Settlement of account Also known as zero out, it is the final step in guest accounting cycle. One last entry is made, either on debit side, or credit side, depending on the outstanding account balance. The balance of the account is calculated, with the following formula, opening balance, plus, debit entries, minus, credit entries, equals, outstanding balance. If debit side is more, guest pays. If credit side is more, the hotel refunds to the guest. Trial balance Accounting, the aggregate of all debit and credit balances, at the end of an accounting period that, 1, shows if the general ledger is in balance, total debits equal, total credits, before making closing entries, 2, serves as a worksheet, for making closing entries, and 3. Provides the basis for making draft financial statements, income or loss. Aging Schedule or Account Aging Aging Schedule is a table that shows a summarized breakup of accounts receivable into different time brackets. It is an important tool used in working capital management to project pattern of collections and estimate doubtful debts. It is called aging schedule because, it ranks accounts receivable, according to their age, that is, into slabs such as, not yet due, 30 days overdue, 60 days overdue, 90 days overdue, etc. As an account gets older, the possibility of collecting payment becomes more doubtful. Compilation and Presentation Praveen Jha Senior Faculty, IHM Hajipur, Vaishali, Bihar